Fish Daytona is brought to you by Labosco Jewelry Castle in Atlantic Marine. Hey, I'm Wynn, and I'm here getting a chance to cook my recipe. That was a winning recipe on the Fish Daytona recipe contest. And I'm going to be preparing a, uh, a mahi that is supposed to be on an oak-fired grill, but instead today we're going to be doing it in a wood-fired pizza oven. We're going to be baking it instead of grilling it. All right, so let's get to work then. Let's get to work then. You start on that, and I'm going to be kind of standing back watching and see how you prepare yours. And Great. I got a few things to cut up over here, and once we get going, then we'll move outside to the other oven. Sounds great. Okay. The ingredients that we have are um, stock. You could use fish stock, chicken stock, or vegetable stock if you preferred. We have fresh lemons. We're going to use the juice from those lemons, um, crushed capers, and we're going to have a side dish of yellow rice and a delicious salad of fresh avocado with Catalina dressing. French dressing is also suitable. Um, Catalina is my favorite. Well, I'm going to melt down lots of butter because in the South we use lots of butter in everything that we fix. So that's the beginning um, of the sauce is to melt a stick of butter. That'll take a few minutes. And while that's happening, we can come over here and season our fish. Today we're substituting grouper. And the first thing I like to do in preparing the grouper is to have a garlic, salt, and pepper seasoning. And you just sprinkle the grouper generously on both sides. The next step in preparing this, as we're waiting for the butter to melt, is you coat the fish fillet generously again in just all-purpose flour. Now you can go a little bit further with this and maybe get some Zatarain's um, fish rub or something, but this is a very simple, delicious recipe. Now in the meantime, I've prepared my capers. I've crushed them. I like the small capers. Um, there's a lot of salt in the capers, so that is going to bring a lot of flavor to the sauce also. So I've crushed my capers and prepared the, the lemons for squeezing. And I have my broth. You could use a fish stock, a vegetable stock. In this case, I'm using a, a nice fresh chicken stock. The butter is almost ready. You have to be careful that the butter doesn't burn but we want to bring it right up to a good sizzle before we add the fish to the pan. It's just about ready. Now the fish is going to cool it down just a little bit, so we'll keep it on this high setting, and you may be able to hear it start to sizzle a little bit there. Now we're sauteing the fish, and as you can see that the butter is good and hot now, and um, is beginning to cook the fish. When you can see that it's cooked about halfway up, you'll see that the meat's turning white. Then we'll turn it over and sear the other side. This is a nice thick filet, and as you, as you probably know when you're cooking fish, that they'll start to flake as they're, they're cooking. So we're going to be very careful when we turn this over. We're going to turn it down just a little bit as the butter's beginning to brown. You can see it's loose, so that means that it's searing up nicely. There we go. Get a little butter underneath side. It smells so good. I wish you could smell it. The flour that the fish has been um, covered in is going to be part of the sauce. So that'll be the thickening agent for, for our cream sauce that we're going to make. Once it's nearly cooked through, I'm going to take it out of the pot and create the sauce. Bosco Jewelry Castle carries sea life and sport fishing designs. When your passion is for fishing, you're never far from the sea. For over 30 years, our family-owned and operated Castle Crew takes pride in treating everyone like royalty. So stop by and see us today. Stop by and see the Castle Crew for all your sport fishing and sea life jewelry needs. La Bosco's Jewelry Castle in Port Orange. Welcome back. We're here in the kitchen of Rick uh, cooking our recipes that we won on Fish Daytona. The recipe contest. So uh, I'm preparing a lemon caper sauce while Rick is preparing um, all of his wonderful dishes to take to the backyard grilling station. And what I'm doing now is I'm just preparing a little uh, 
little asparagus, a little olive oil over top. Asparagus is great. It, um, it bakes so easily. I've seen people try and uh, steam it, um, almost boil it, but just a quick bake for 10 or 15 minutes, probably more like 10 minutes, a little seasoning, a little olive oil, comes out fantastic. Especially these little, little baby ones, you barely even need to cook them because you can just eat them just like this. Oh God, that's good. I'm going to be dicing up some pancetta ham. This is a smoked ham that goes great with a cream sauce. And I'm going to be, I'm going to saute this up with some shallots and some conch. And this conch cream sauce is going to be really good with the mahi. And then I'm going to pan fry up the mahi, get it a little brown, and then throw it in the oven and bake it for a few minutes. So here's our, here's our conch. Just going to cut this up nice and fine. Dice it in a little pieces. This conch came, came from uh, King Seafood, which is in, right here in Port Orange. It goes great with the cream sauce. I'm going to take my um, filet now and put it on a plate to the side as I'm putting together the lemon caper sauce for the topping of the fish. I've added just a little bit, maybe um, another tablespoon of flour um, for my thickening agent. Usually I have more fish in the pan, so I would have had more fish coated with flour for the base of the sauce. I'm going to add the capers. You can hear them sizzle. It's going to just burst the flavor of those right into that sauce. I'm going to add the chicken stock. and stir until it starts to become thickened, at which time we'll add some lemon juice. The foam on top is, is the butter and the flour have a chemical reaction to each other when the heat hits them together. So it just foams up a little bit, and then the juices of the, um, of the capers, as they were crushed, their juices were released, and all of that is coming together there. And it's smelling good already. I'm gonna get my stuff together and I'm gonna start Heading out towards the oven outside. Get our stuff together here. We'll be right back after these messages. Make a difference in just a little way and contribute to your favorite charity. It feels good when you help your community. Okay, our sauce is beginning to thicken up. We're just about to add our lemon juice. And if you squeeze the lemon with the open side up, you're le less chance of getting lemon uh, seeds in your sauce. We always apologize in advance, just in case. I'm gonna use the juice of a whole lemon, and this just gives this dish the zing that it needs. I'm gonna stir that in, and add the fish back to the pan. So you can see it's been pan seared, sauteed nicely in the butter, and now we're going to just baste it with the lemon caper sauce just for a few more minutes until the fish is completely finished cooking. Well, it'll begin to flake easily. As you can see, it's not quite there yet. It's still holding on. All right, well, we've cooked up a side dish of some delicious yellow rice, lightly seasoned. And we'll prepare our dish now and get this plate worthy of this piece of grouper. Need two pan, two spoons. Now this is a hearty meal, but it's very good for you. The top of the fish. And now we can always have some more lemon if anyone decides. And to top it off. We'll give a little dressing to the avocado. A little bit of parsley. 
find using the scissors for the parsley but it really makes it simple. And there we are. A winning recipe from the Fish Daytona Recipe Contest. This is grouper with lemon caper sauce, avocado salad on the side with a delicious spoonful of yellow rice. This segment made possible by Atlantic Marine, sales, service, and storage, located in Port Orange. As you know, Florida has only one season, the fishing season. With over a thousand miles of coastline and thousands of freshwater lakes and rivers, you can fish all year. Whether you're looking for saltwater or freshwater fishing, Florida's the place for you. And right now, it's grouper season. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission scientists say the fish are biting. So get your friends and gear together and just go fishing. Florida, the fishing capital of the world. Welcome to my little outdoor eatery kitchen area. What I do with it is it's solid concrete and you build a fire inside, heat it up to about 500 degrees and you can cook anything, but it cooks a fantastic pizza. Today we're gonna be cooking the mahi in it. My first time ever cooking fish in it, so we'll give it a shot and I think it's gonna come out pretty good. This is pancetta. It's a ham in the ham family. I love cast iron because of the way it heats all the way through, it gets nice and hot. It's great for searing. Now that I've got my pancetta cooked, I'm just going to do a quick simmer of the conch. Get that cooked up. Then I'll be adding the pancetta back to it. Winter time in Florida, it's the best. A little butter. Adding the pancetta back to it. I'm going to be adding three quarters of a tablespoon, three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. We're going to thicken this up with this heavy cream. I'm just going to let this simmer for a minute. I'm going to turn that down nice and low. We'll get our mahi ready to go in the oven. Whole Seafood, thank you so much for donating this fish. This is David Willoughby's recipe with his uh, conch and cream. Uh, I hope I'm doing a good job putting it all together. Uh, it's the first time I've done it. So now what we're gonna be doing is we've got the oven prepped. I need to season the mahi just a little bit. We'll season that with just a little salt and pepper. Okay, so we got salt and pepper on there. All right, now we're gonna be Searing our mahi. We're just going to do a little sear on it on each side and then we're going to slide it into the oven and let it bake for a couple minutes. I'm going to do a little flip here. Uh, oh, Rick, nice, that's looking great. Just a little brown on each side. Oops. Nothing like an iron skillet outside. Oh, I love it. It's like being at the camp. We could easily just continue cooking this and then put the conch cream sauce over top. But instead, because we've got the brick oven, we're gonna finish baking it in the brick oven, which right now the brick oven is at about 500 degrees. So that'll just help it cook through instead of just from the bottom. So that should come out really good. We'll continue to make sure the sauce is nice and warm because it's just thickening up really nice. The whole yard's starting to smell good. Yeah. All right. Mahi's been in there for about 10 or 15 minutes. It looks beautiful. We'll just bring it over to the table. This is the Dave Willoughby Mahi with the conch and cream with pancetta sauce. Thank you, Dave, for your contribution to Fish Daytona. Mm -hmm.